The humble potato actually has quite a bit of power. Not only does it have the power to make Lay's potato chips irresistible and delicious, middle school science taught us that they also have the ability to power a clock. So we wondered, could potatoes power something more? Could they power, say, a recording session with Brazilian pop superstar Anita? Anita, Lay's newest brand partner, named the most innovative artist of the year by the Wall Street Journal. We couldn't record her in a regular boring way. We had to record her in an equally innovative way. So the amount of potatoes that we're actually gonna need is gonna come down to my level of preparation as well as the methodology that I come up with. For right now, I'd like to say that you know, we're gonna need somewhere on the order of a lot. You get electricity from a potato because the potato acts as an electrochemical cell whereby it's converting chemical energy into electrical energy. And how it's doing that is through the two electrodes that we're gonna be putting into the potato. One piece of copper and a piece of zinc. If you connect some wires to this, well, then you have an electrical circuit. If you start then connecting a bunch of potatoes together, think of it as sticking batteries into a clock, for example, you can power an entire recording studio. To pull this off, we're gonna need every single one of these little guys. The amount of potatoes that we currently need is looking around so 375,000 potatoes. One potato is able to generate 0.78 volt, which that's not bad. Our problem is the amperage, whereby we are generating 0.0001 amps. What I think I need to figure out is a way to boost this number. So in this experiment, I'm looking to see if an increased surface area is gonna generate more power. So right now I've been using just this really thin piece of wire, but let's take this copper pipe. Hammer it flat. Now we stick it into the potato. We stick the positive end in. We have the zinc negative end. Wow, we have a 0.4 milliamp reading, so about twofold. And our voltage is 0.9 volts. So surface area is going to be a factor in really drawing out more power from these potatoes. I'm thinking that if I boil the potato possibly, that's gonna soften it and I'm gonna be able to stick this in here a lot easier. And if I'm trying to maximize surface area into this potato, then I think softening it's gonna be the next step that I need to go with. So these have been boiling for about eight minutes or so. And I just wanna get a baseline test just to see what the power difference is in a boiled potato. Wow, the amperage is 20 fold greater. That's fantastic. That just makes it all really plausible. So initially we were just trying with the raw potato, not doing anything to it. And we determined that it was gonna be around 375,000 potatoes. Through the simple discovery of boiling a potato for just a couple minutes, that's actually softening the starches in the potato and allowing those electrons to flow so much better. The voltage stayed the same. However, the amperage was 31 times better. In other words, instead of needing 375,000 potatoes, we can now do it with around 12,000 potatoes. I can pull it off for sure. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> hey. Hey, How good to you? see you. Nice to see you. On the flight over from New Hampshire, I had this idea to basically create a shish kebab. We're gonna just thread the potatoes onto a copper pipe. And then instead of the nails, we're gonna use a long strip of magnesium. And what that's gonna do is harvest way more voltage with far fewer potatoes. By doing the copper piping, it's gonna save us roughly 6,000 potatoes less than what I even said before. Just have to let Carson know that because I'm changing the game plan last minute. Zach. Carson. Welcome to LA, Absolutely man. a pleasure. You seem like you are ready for a whole army yeah, of Yeah, we're, we're feed? ready. Brilliant. Uh, my question though is, where are the potatoes? Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Super. All right. <laughs> 
Let's do this. We all know what we're trying to pull off today, right? We need potato power to record Anita singing. We have a day and 6,000 of these delicious little guys and we have to harvest as much power as absolutely possible in order to charge the battery, power the laptop, record Anita, and get all this done in just a few short hours. We could pull this off for sure, but we need every single one of your guys' help. Let's do it. Let's get some potato power. Man, Carson, I knew we were boiling potatoes, but... What in the world is going on here? I mean, this looks fantastic. Can you explain this a little bit? Yeah, so we're boiling 6,000 potatoes and taking these in and out and in and out by hand is like kind of insane. A, so, a little dangerous, this looks pretty heavy. So, so after thinking about it a little bit, me and my team, we sort of landed on, on this. This absolutely brilliant thing, which I need to see a demo of this. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> It for looks efficient. How many potatoes can that lift at once? Uh, I think that 150 is safe. We might be boiling 6,000 potatoes, but that's still 6,000 that have to get skewered yeah. onto these copper pipes. So Yeah, we still have a lot to do. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Clock is ticking. It was a late night. We were able to hook up everything that we needed to do. We drew out as many amps as possible and it works. I mean, it's a legitimate thing. This is real. I think we're at 8,000 potatoes, so a little more than I thought, but we're there. So we have all of our shelves linked together. That's through these two electrical leads, the positive and negative. You see that they're connecting all of our shelves, which then run into our battery box. This is the device that's actually collecting all of our power from all of our shelves. This is what's actually going to be powering our laptop, the power that's stored in that battery. The only way to prove that this is an actual legitimate thing is, well, here's our battery, here's our laptop, plug it in, potato power. We are actually charging this laptop through the power that we've generated through over 8,000 Lay's potatoes. Pleasure. How are oh. you? Welcome. Welcome to our Lay's experiment. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, I'm excited to show you everything. Are you ready to see what we've been working on for quite a while? I'm curious. I have no idea what's happening. It's been a couple months in the planning and okay. I think it's going to blow your socks off, but you be the judge after you. Okay. Have a look. Look at all the What? <laughs> we have How many <laughs> Potatoes! I'm so glad you asked that. We have a little over 8,000 potatoes charging up a battery, which is then going to power the laptop, which you are going to then sing into a microphone, all powered through the power of Lay's potatoes. No. I didn't understand anything about how this works. To be honest, <laughs> I just understood that I'm singing, but like... I am happy to walk you over there and okay. actually give you the explanation. So, okay. So, head over. Wow. Can you say like in simple words, how does it work? So we connected all of these Lay's potatoes into shelves where this is one battery. We're connecting all of these batteries together into the central battery, which all of this power is then getting connected into our laptop. So oh. with it, I mean, everything's set. I think let's get rolling. Let's go. <laughs> Stay golden.